Hey guys, hope everyone's having a great Saturday. It is Saturday, August, August, oh my goodness, April the 2nd. Um, you may hear the dogs bark a little bit in the background. And my daughter, she's up here cleaning her saxophone. And that's why this old towel's down. She was out here on the sun porch earlier working on it. Now she's off to the side. And I thought I'd film my video out here since it's a really nice day. It's been a little windy today and it was raining earlier, but... I also want to share some great news with you. My son, who was deployed for seven months, about, um, got in late Wednesday night and surprised me yesterday, um, coming home. So I'm really glad to have him home, and if it sounds a little weird, this is my second attempt at trying to film this video. Um, I was filming it, moving right along, had about almost three minutes into it, and it, um, I must have hit the stop button or something, I don't know. Anyhow, I have a lot of stash to show you. I've been needing to make a video now for about two months. Um, and stuff, so we'll just get jump right in and I'll show you some of the stash. Um, I do have several finishes. I got one finish in January. No finishes in February, but I did get some stitching done. I got a finish in March and I got a finish actually today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all my stash acquisition, which is quite a bit. So bear with me if you enjoy seeing stash. Um, and I'll pause the video and add the two together and put it all in one video. And I got to pre I've washed my finishes. I just need to press them to iron them and stuff so it'll be presentable. And then I'll add that on my finishes and what I'm currently working on. But okay, as you've been looking at this... This here, most of the stuff I got off of an um, online buy and sell group or eBay. Um, this here, make this is a kit to make a scissor fob. Um, it doesn't come with the scissors, but I have plenty of those. Um, it even comes with to make the tassel, but it shows yellow on the front for the predominant color. But actually with this kit, it is blue. And it has some really pretty beads. It's got roses on the blue. Some really sparkly beads in there. Some bead separators. And stuff like that. I just want to show that with you. Um. Well, these are backwards. Instead of January to December, they're December to January. Because, like I said, I was uh, almost three minutes into a video. And for some reason, it stopped on me, so we'll go backwards. Um, here's December, November, October, September, August, July, June, May, April, March. February and January. I do have all the threads for these and um, the Week Style Works and the General Art Sampler threads. Uh, I just have to get the 30, oops, didn't mean to show, show the pattern, the 32 count Somerville Fast Linen. Um, this is another one I grabbed up in that, with that little bunch and it's a pocket full of posies. I think it's so cute. But I do have all the threads for those um, and stuff. Just need, like I said, get the fabric and get started on them. They'll be quick stitches, very quick stitches. Um, here is a Shepherd's Bush kit called Winter Moon. And I do have a lot of these kits. I have completed one of them and I do enjoy Shepherd's Bush, but you just have to be really careful because make sure on your counting on the linen, linen, excuse me, um, because there's so many specialty stitches and just, they are pretty, you know, like a, there's a lot of some of these stitches in here, here, and you just gotta be very careful with your count, especially since it's on linen, but these are really nice kits, um, premium quality kits, they come with all the silk threads, over dyed threads that you need that comes with um, charms. This one has some really cute star moon charms. All the beads, 
beading needle, regular needle. They're just top quality, top notch kits. Um, another kit I got was by Dimensions. The floral potpourri. It's got peony, delphum, uh, fuchsia. I love fuchsias. Foxglove. They're all, all this, all these flowers I really enjoy. Of course, the little mushrooms are cute, and I love butterflies. And this is done on 18 count Ada. Comes with everything. But I'm starting to wear a really, I mean, I'm not a, by any means a fabric snob. I n normally stitch what comes in the kit. But, I mean, and really, if it's a full coverage kit, which, I mean, this is not. But 14 count Ada and 28 count Ada is going to give you the same size X cross stitch. Uh, same with the 16 and 32 count um, and stuff. Um, it's just, you know, the look of the holes in the background. So some of these I think I may switch out for some even weave or linen. This is another one that came in the bag, the Ziploc bag, because it had been opened. And the, if I remember correctly, it was given to a lady uh, from her aunt. And she's, she is a stitcher, but she just didn't want to stitch it, I guess. But I just loved it. Um, it's called, what is it called? Anyway, it's a bell pull. And let me get this out and take it out of the package. Pretty bow at the top with the holly and ornament balls and candy cane. And it comes with the um, bell pull, actually. The, it's wooden, but um, it does have the bell pull in it and the metallic threads and stuff like that. Here's another kit I got off an of unload group. It's um, Seaside Gazebo by Debbie Patrick. I just think it's so cute. The colors are kind of soft in it and stuff and a bunch of floss and that floss is not pre-sorted, which I don't mind sorting floss, believe it or not. If I have a hard time with them, um, I'll just come out of a day in the sunlight and just sort them there and you normally tell the colors really well. I mean, I've got a, I hope you guys really, really like enjoying seeing stash acquisitions because I have gathered a lot in the last couple of months that I should have made a video. This is another one I got. Santa arrives tonight. It comes with the little... Oh, the wind picked up. Ooh. Comes with the little charms. Oh, and this was another pattern. Uh, I guess the lady had lost the sleeve for it. And she had put them in, both of them in this. And I really like this. This is a little house needleworks. Glad I flipped it over. Um, it just says little house chart number one. I think that's really cute. Here's another one. It's a little house needleworks. Chart number 128. Freedom House. Oh, that one was America. The previous one. Up oh, there it is, America. Okay. I like that. The little salt box houses and it's got the little flags for the roof. And seeing, you know, we're just kind of patriarch seeing that my son, he is a Marine. And we just, I just like those kind of things. And even before he was. Uh, here's a Mirabilia I picked up. For some reason, you know, around Christmas time, this one was really calling to me. And I'd like to eventually get it stitched one day. And I, I believe I opened up the thing. And there's a, you know, Mirabilia's don't look that bad to me. It's just got the beading as what. And look at all those stars. Most of them's in beads. This one is Christmas Elegance. It's a 1994 copyright. Um, so hopefully one day I'll get to stitch to that one. Here is Elizabeth's Designs Autumn Flower Sample. Sampler, excuse me if I can talk today. As Organic Granny says, slow down and use your words. <laughs> Um, this, these tend to have a lot of specialty stitches, although not too bad. A lot of them, that looks like a lot of satin stitches. Um, here's one called Pumpkins 3 for Thee, for my boys. I designed it, and I really like that one. And then I like that one. Mm, that one's okay. Um... Just not a big fan of the checkerboard plaid. 
If I may I may be cute stitched up or maybe switch the curl colors out a little bit, but I really like that. That's my favorite. And I like that one too. It'd be really cute for um Thanksgiving. Okay, yep, that one's got one on the back too. It's in a plastic sleeve, so this is Stars and Stripes. Sweetheart Company. Um I like that design. Um It came with the wooden buttons. And as you can see, they're on there. See? So, um, I like that one. There's another one in the sleeve here. Um, also by the Sweetheart Company. It's called Garden Time. And I think these are really cute. Um, I'm not a big cat person. I have four dogs. Nothing, nothing at all against cats or cat people. It's just I prefer dogs, my four-legged friends, and canine. But I, I like the way, I like the look of this one with the flowers and stuff. So I may just change that to the regular spelling of perfect um, and stuff. But like I said, it comes with a little bee in the fire base and wood. It's painted wood. Um, here's a Sam Hawkins design. Um, Jeanette Cruz, um, it's called Dragonfly Fairy, and I, I just, I believe I've seen this on Facebook, and one of the groups I belong to, a multitude of Facebook groups, cross-stitch groups, quilting groups, um, all kinds of groups, and this was gorgeous, it was so beautiful, um, here is the warmest of welcomes. See, are they all the same? No, not all the same. Um, the one I really liked was this one. And this one. I have a very nautical themed living room slash dining room because it's an open area concept dining room. I'll say, it, let's see, was there any ones different on the back? I think that one, maybe, and this one. In case anyone else is interested in hunting down, it's by Cross My Heart, CSB 185. Okay, here's another one that I was drawn to. It's a little pink house. It's got two different designs. One's a garden gate. And one is a little pink house. I don't know if I would stitch both these. I'm more drawn to this one, of course, because of the house. Because, I mean, it's got similar flowers. And I just think that would be... This one, I just kind of... Someone had a sale, and I was like, okay, let's throw this in there with it. I don't like this one as much, but I like this one. And I'm checking the back of this one. I'm picking up to make sure there's no designs. This one's also by Cross My Heart, Ink. Uh, I don't even think they're in business anymore. I'm not sure. But you can easily find these, I believe, um, on eBay and stuff like that. It's Picket Fences. And I do like most of these. Of course, the beach one. That's the one that kind of drawn me to it. But I also like the raw iron gate. And I like the fence. And then there's that one. Um, I got this one. This one's called Lily's. And I am going to butcher that, but I know what type of flower it is, which is that one. Um, but this one, I like both designs, and I may possibly eventually stitch both. But these are my, one of my top favorites, Oriental Lilies, but they, yeah. I love those. Um, I grabbed this one up, Palms and Pineapple by Ursula and Michael. I would love to do that afghan. Um, and I like that one. I love this one by the Cricut Collection. That haunted house. It's awesome. I'm also like Sherry Burkett. It's called Three Gables. I like Halloween too. Um, as you can see, it still has the chart. The prize tag on there's chart, three dollars, no buttons. But it's a heart and hand called Egg Hunt. Let the hunt begin. It's really cute. Let me grab up some more. Move over here where they're handy. 
I told you this was a really long haul. Okay, another Cricut collection. I'm not crazy about this design. I mean, it's okay. I don't think I'll ever stitch it, but it's this one. For some reason here lately, I have a thing for bees or beehives and stuff like that. I like that one. And here's one called Berries, Berries, Berries. I like that one. I like that wreath, but I like this more. Let's see. Here's some, I like these up through here. Here is a Sisters and Best Friends Over the Moon Spring Bunny. Very cute. I love how it's got the egg, or the rabbit kind of over the egg, the little funky egg. And then the cute ABC you stitch. And then a cross stitch magazine. Just cross stitch. Um, there were several designs in here I believe I like, but I also like that wreath. It's really, really nice. Um, Narciss, Nar, Narcissus, I think I'm butchering that, per usual. But it's another Jeanette Cruz design by Dewdrop. And that, it's a gorgeous. I also love fairies. Fairies, butterflies, floral, nautical. This kind of things. That's a free design and it really doesn't have a colored thing. That can... Um, I like this one. I got it for the It's a Cricut Collection, number 308. La Mer. It's got a mermaid, which I love. And then I like the little beach huts and it spells seaside, but without showing you the whole entire thing. It comes with the chart. The A through Z charts where you can see that and it says beach. And it's, it looks like it's on a beach tote. A little pillow. And then that one says seaside. So I really like that. Okay. I also collect Barbara, Barbara and Cheryl designs. Um, this one's in full bloom. I live near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So Charleston is about a two and a half hour drive, two, two and a half hour drive away from us. And I love, 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 love going down there and seeing all the architecture um, and tr the history and just, and it's right there on the ocean. And of course we're close to the ocean too, but we're in South Carolina also, I mean Myrtle Beach, but I just love this captures Charleston so well, their designs. I bet they're not for the faint of heart. Um, they're pretty good sized pieces with a lot of colors and a lot of detail. And, but that goes to my collection. Here's one, a bouquet of carnations. Um, by the Lilac Studio, designed by Cindy Rice. Do you hear my doggies? Um, I like that one a lot. Here's a shepherd bush where it's just a leaflet. Um, of course, there's bees. Uh, bee attitude sampler. There's a close-up of it. It's so cute. Uh, I actually finished one with a beehive today. Here is Leisure Arts. Seaside pattern. Um, yeah, did it come with... Oh, there's the back. Let's see, did it come with the seashells? Oh, yeah. It come with all those seashells. And I thought it'd be cute. They show them on towels. Something similar to this. Is they're not overly big. And to stitch them up. And I've got some little frames. And just kind of put them in little frames. But also, you know, these patterns here. Um, are really cute. Let me grab some more stash. and bring it around. We're getting to the end of this day. But this is just what I acquired like it. Ooh, I'd say January, December, maybe some. Mm, a lot of my February and March stuff. No, not in here. This has been sitting there. I, sorry, this is a glass table underneath here. <laughs> um, this has been sitting there for a good month and a half waiting for me to film a video for you guys and stuff so you can see everything. 
and um, I do love seeing stash that was the door like I said it's windy today I apologize I love seeing people's stash acquisitions and seeing if there's something I would like to do um, there's my little doggie isn't she cute she's got a, I, I, I shaved her this past week I shaved it down because it's getting, you know, getting someone. I'm sorry about the floor. It's dirty. It's got to be vacuumed because the pollen was out here real bad. And she's got a little squirrel vest on. I got that at Tuesday morning. They was having a clearance on the dog vest for $0.69. Cent. Regularly $6.99. 90% off. Anyway, we'll get back to this. <laughs> I'm sorry. This here is a Christmas collection. Um, the awesome thing about this is it has the six eight by ten decorative mats that you see here included. There's a Santa. And he's got this mat. Greetings. Now it doesn't come with the charms, but those are easily acquired. Look at that snowman. Isn't that adorable? And an angel. Let's see if I can show you. Here's another design. And a stocking. I don't want to show no charts. I'm going to kind of put you off to the side so I can get the I mean, they're printed on the same material as the patterns. I mean, it don't take up a pattern, but but you, I mean, you just could trim them out along the edge. They're eight by ten size, I believe. With it fits the designs. They fit the designs. See, there's another one. So if you guys can hunt down this book, there's two of those. And I guess you put them on top of it. Look at that! Isn't that cute? Oh, it says on Cupid. It's got, yeah, how cute. And there's one of those Christmas greens. Oh, we're getting back to the chart, so. Yep. Oh, and I love this one. When I saw it, it was kind of funky, but I had to have it. Had to have it. Couldn't pass it up. Um, it's called Scuba Duba by Raise the Roof. Just because it's fun to say scuba duba. Let me lay it down. It's working out best. See, it's got the the alphabet and one, two, three at the end. A funky octopus, a diver, treasure chest, little school of fish, anchor, starfish, a sea snake, a dolphin jumping out of the water, which is amazing. When back in January, when we took our son for he graduated early from high school, um, our our youngest son, middle son. We have four children, two girls, two boys. The girls are twins. They turned 16 in December, and they are sophomores in high school. The middle son, Cody, he turned 17 this past August. He'll be 18 this August, and um, he graduated early in January, and we took him to the Bahamas. I'm sorry, I've got off track, but hopefully y'all listen to my story. We took him to the Bahamas for his early graduation present, and, uh, and on the in Nassau, we went to Balmore Island, and played and swam with the dolphins and we had a fantastic day it was very memorable I'm glad we made some really great memories with him to celebrate this special time in his life but getting back to this this is just a look at that sun how funky I mean is that not awesome um so I look forward to stitching that one I also like lavender and lace patterns this one is Angel of Autumn. And I just think that's pretty. Um, I believe this is one of my subscriptions that come in the mail. Um, or did I buy these? I, or, I may have bought this one. I can't. What's the year on it? December 2015. No, this was a subscription. Um... It's just, I don't want to show really any patterns, but yeah. I like that one on the front. I believe I'm pretty sure that's a Ursula Michaels. That looks like her kind of design. And this also was a subscription to Cross Stitch Gold. That's a Joan Elliott. Yep, Joan Elliott. Um, it's got some good patterns in it, too. Okay, that's all for like on eBay. With all that, I believe, was off of. Um, a group on online. Um, let's see. Let me move this around. This 
is from AC Moore. I bought these for, remember the little heart and hand patterns, January through December, or actually I done them backwards. I want to put my week style works on these. Kind of keep them all together, and if I, you know, have plenty of floss left over for another project, they'll all be there, and I can put them in ABC order and um, flip through them real quickly. I got some of these needles. These needles, I love these. They're 28. Um, number 28 tapestry needles. They're for cross stitching. They're short. It, I mean, it may be hard to tell scale from this, but I'm saying they're about an inch. Well, maybe an inch and a half long. Um, I love stitching with these. And like I said, I got this from AC Moore. I fell in love with this kit. I love irises. And look at that little yellow. I believe it's a finch. Or it's a bird, nonetheless. It's the Busilla Heirloom, Heirloom Collection. It's called Spring Glory. It contains 28 count white even weave. Um, there's the back of the kit. I got this with a 50% off coupon. This here did not come from um, AC Moore. Say, um, I bought this off one of the groups. It's a Design Works kit uh, called Peony's Vase. Gorgeous, love it. Only thing is on black fi fabric. Um, but hey, well, I find you know some people detest stitching on black fabric and they do it anyway, and they complain about it which is their right to no I mean whatever anybody wants to and some designs just call for it but I don't mind stitching aren't too bad I mean you can always put it down put it away pick up another project to ease your eyes or if you you know um my thing I find is just use some really good light I know it's been said before make sure you have a light underneath where you're stitching oh that wind I told you windy 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 and you'll be able to see see the holes better. I went back on another day and used coupons. I took my daughter. Sorry, that thing was blowing up where she was working. Um, took my daughter with me and got another one, another heirloom collection kit from Busilla called the Covered Bridge. This one has 28 count powder blue even weave. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Actually, that looks like wisteria. I've got wisteria blooming on my property right now. And there's the kit. It's a thick kit, too. Yeah. This retail. Look at that, guys. $51.99. You guys know these kits are expensive. I know they are. AC Moore price, $20. Guess what? They had their 50% off coupons that week. 10 bucks for these type. The, the one with the iris is this one. And this one I wasn't too crazy about. I mean, I kind of like it. And I don't know if I'm like liking it, but same thing. Um, It's Cardinals. And it's 28 count powder blue even weave also. I mean, I love the sunflowers and I love the birds. I'm just not too crazy about this. It's just, I know that's the sky and it's unstitched, but to me it's like, I don't know. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. But I do love the sunflowers. Here is some stash I found and I thought, well, hey, I'll show this that I got from Walmart. Some of these little kits. A Bucilla kit. Bluebird. Obviously, right? <laughs> and there's it. So... I think it looked like blue, but it's actually white Ada. Um, another one. Like I said, this all come from Walmart. Bleeding Hearts. And that's what this type of flower is called, for those that don't know. And I like this one. Although it's kind of unrealistic, they may exist in the world, but a pink butterfly. I think to change it up, I will take some maybe some brown or some black. I'm not certain until I get to stitching it and switch it out because... The theme is kind of pink, yellow, and green. <laughs> um, unbeknownst to me, I'd already purchased 
some of these needles, but I guess you can never have enough. I picked up two more packs at Walmart. So if you guys don't have a Michaels or whatever close by, um, Walmart, or at least my Walmart carries these type of needles. And I think they're only like a dollar fifty-eight or something like that. Don't hold me to it. Oh, picked up a, of course this ain't cross stitch, but quick glue gun. Needed a new one. Always in all kinds of other crafts. And then a big handful, there's still several more in about, uh, the bag of, um, white floss, because I like to hand dye or dye, dye my own floss sometimes. I have used them in a project. Um, what else do we have? This is from, uh, Michaels. I don't know if you really want to see this. This is cross stitch, but I do, I got a good deal on these for clearance. Mesh to make the mesh wreaths, and I also got silver. Sorry, I'm bending over silver. I know you're probably not too interested in those. Um, let me get here in the bag. Sorry, crinkle, crinkle. I'm sorry, I'm moving y'all. Hope don't make you sick. Oh, here we go. You want to look in the bag with me? <laughs> and I know you like beads, just like this thing. No, this is actually kind of cross stitch related. Okay. Um, I'll have to show it to you. Hopefully get finished. Sorry about my fingers. Um, this here got me a cute little pair of scissors. Uh, peacock scissors. See, let me see. Okay, these beads here. Let me lay them out. This might be a little hard to see on the white, the old white towel. Look at those. Isn't those pretty? These are really shiny too. I bought these to hopefully go on a piece. I've got a C. Uh, it's got a seashell on it, I believe. It's really blingy kind of seashell. And I didn't know whether I was going to stitch that. Another border around it. Or just leave it off. But I got to thinking. I was sitting there staring at it. You know, because it was still beside my stitching spot. And I was like, well, um... I think I'd be really cute with some beads around it. Um, and I thought, well, if I add that border in and then kind of sprinkle some of these beads throughout. And these are a little bit bigger than the other two. So I wouldn't maybe use as many. But these are kind of, they're pretty tiny. These are definitely tiny. These are tiny, tiny. I don't know if I can get it to focus. There we go. See how tiny on my finger? And so I'm going to play around and add some beads to it and give a little bit more bling and sparkle. Um, these are glass beads. I got them, like I said, once again at Michael's. Um, definitely won't use all of them, that's for sure. Um, but I'll show you guys after I'm, and I've been meaning to get the other border stitch. I mean, it's only like a five by seven, I believe, design. So it won't take much, and it's like not on the bottom half of the design. It's just like around the three-fourths of it. And then hopefully get them on and add them on to the end. If not, it'll be in the next video. I'm going to try to get better about doing videos. Um, I noticed some, there's a whole bunch more. Um is doing kind of like a vlog where you vlog a couple times a week maybe or at least once a week and update everybody on the progress and uh, I'll put something down pretty for y'all to look at um the progress and um and what they're stitching on for that week and stuff like that so I may give that a try I also have a camera I bought a camera because I also make handmade stuff and I want to start maybe doing videos on a separate channel for that but that's neither here nor there um, with a tripod, when I got the tripod, I mean, it's only like, <laughs> not even a foot, but I want to try to make that work. Um, currently last, this will make my third video. I've been using my camera on my phone for videos and the first video was a different phone. And since December, I upgraded my phone. Me and my daughter got new phones for Christmas. Um, there's my other doggies. Um, and stuff and it does have really good high quality videos but the only thing is I'm holding it in hand and you kind of get the little shake or moving around with me and I do apologize for that earlier um, I'm gonna stop here and hopefully like I said I'll get better at these videos any comments questions tips I'll be happy to help the best I can um, just ask and I will get the other pieces iron that I did get finished in January and March and the one actually today it was a little shepherd's bush kit called Sweet Liberty 
um, I felt it was, and for some reason I started on Friday, and I, I didn't know he was coming home, and that evening, by that evening, he had had me surprised, because it has a little flag in the corner of it, a patriotic flag, and it was just, I don't know, very nice, I, my heart's so happy, and he's lucky enough to be about two hours, two and a half hours away from us, uh, his base, and, or his camp, and, um, and he comes home on the weekends, um, practically about every weekend, so I'm a real lucky mom to be able to have him, but that seven months deployment, that was kind of hard, he'll be 21 this August, um, so, but it, like I said, I don't want to keep you guys, this video is already 35 minutes, and I still got to pop in the second half of it, of my finishes and stuff like that, say, it can't be that bad, my little baby's whining, say, hey, Say hey. Yes. Um and stuff. So I'll let you guys go for now and look it should pop up right after this. I'll add the second end to the video. Hey guys, it's Monday, April the fourth. Um here's the rest of the video I promised. Um I guess my camera only does like a little touch over 30 minutes of recording time and I didn't notice it when I was recording my video on Saturday that it stopped and made another the, the remaining few minutes so when I go to edit this and compare you know put all these videos together there may be a little sorry that's my dogs there may be a little bit of a weird gap where I add them together where it stopped Jesus what are they barking at um but just please bear with me as I make more videos I will learn you know to to edit better what works best hold on one second while I see what they're barking at anyhow um they were just they just bark for anything here's one see hi um but like I was saying, they uh, the it stopped at like 33 minutes and something. I recorded almost an additional three minutes, and I didn't like I said. I guess my phone only does videos for so long. But when I use the video editor and put them all together, they like I said, they I'm gonna, I'm not re-recording all that. But here's the rest of the video. Um, this I wanted to share some of the finishes. Some of these are a little bit you know towards the end of 2015 finishes, but I've just got around. Jesus, noisy today with the airplane. But I just got around to um, washing them, pressing them, and hopefully getting them into FFOs, fully finished objects, really soon. Uh, I am kind of bad at that. Um, here's Diaz. I thought that would either make a really cute ornament or a cute pincushion. And here's the pattern. It says Christmas in the Colonies by Tristan Brooks design um it um I think it's a little bit older kit um I don't know you might could find it on ebay if anybody's really interested but it turned out really nicely I like that bird okay here is another one well I like this one um I do apologize for the dogs barking if that bothers anyone. I should have. I'm on the back screen and sunroom porch. And they're out here with me enjoying the morning. And they are obviously finding plenty of things to bark at. Anyhow, this one is titled Snowman. It was a little kit. One of those little kits. Little French knots all through your snow. This was another one finished at the end of 2015 I know it wasn't after the start because I'm I'm trying to do better about keeping up with my starts and it's just one of those little it, it does have the frame that comes with it um I believe that's a pack I think um you know pop it in the little frame like I said I'm really bad about doing finishing I like stitching and sometimes like these, I've just recently got washed and pressed. Um, I love the little scarf right there. So hopefully I can work on getting... Oh, my towel's slipping. 
like to put a towel down when I'm outside because the pollen here in South Carolina, at coastal South Carolina, we live near the coast near Myrtle Beach, as I mentioned a little earlier in the video. And pollen has been bad, but it has lightened up some. But anyway, there's that one. Okay. Here is another one I know I finished up at the end of 2015. This was a little project when my daughter was doing basketball. Sorry, my hand was in the way. Um, she made the girls' basketball team at her high school. And this practice, oh my gosh, six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Um, and I would, you know, sometimes, because it was only for two hours on Saturdays, and I would just sit there and stitch. I didn't go in and watch them practice. None of the parents really done that. Um, but I would sit in the car after going and getting a bite of breakfast on a Saturday morning and just sit there and stitch a little bit. And that was this project this past winter. As you can see, I haven't cut it out of the plastic, but it has been washed. Um, it's one of the Dimensions Whimsies. Checking his list. It is stitched on... Um, Perforated plastic. It's 14 count or plastic canvas. Some people. Know. And it has the little musical stuff in it. Um, as you can see, if you don't have handy um, any thread holders or organizers, I make my own. I take a piece of regular piece of um, notebook paper, fold it in the thirds, and see here's the edge where it's open. But I'll take my punch hole and punch holes and just label the colors. At the top, I put the name in case this happens to get separated from the rest of the the working pattern and stuff. So I can say, oh, this goes to this kit or this pattern. Um, and that's what I do. I mean, it's cheap, economical. Most people have hole punch and definitely notebook paper. But as I was saying, that's a little musical chip. My husband ha may have to help me figure that all out when I get ready. I'm not very mechanically inclined. He is. And it, incl it cl plays jingle bells. <laughs> and I just love this sleeping dog at the foot of Santa. And it, you can tell that the top spells nice. It's showing up kind of, well, it is backwards. It's just the way it's, and then it's just like where writing would be. I thought, thought about trying to make actual names, but I thought, ah, it'd be fine. I love his strop socks. So cute. And the little dog with his French schnapps. His hand. I love his glasses and his beard. But yeah. Like I said, I need to cut that out. Around there. And, um. Get that finished up. Okay. Since this is a big one. I had misplaced. Well, not misplaced. It was on the table. But, um. I don't. I want to show you. The patterns that go with my finishes, if I still haven't gotten rid of them, because I'm like most stitchers, or at least some that I've heard on YouTube videos, I don't plan on, I have so much stash, you guys have no idea. Um, I mean, totes upon totes, and I'm talking about the big 30-gallon totes of just kits alone. Um, doesn't include my patterns. Um, I've just recently started collecting fabrics a little bit more. Um... I love kits, but I also, here in the last year or so, um, really started enjoying putting my own together. This is Jan Lynn, Jalen, however you say that. Welcome to our haunted house. Okay. And let me reach up here and get this. Here we go. Now, this was the fabric that come in the kit. And as you could tell from the thing, the package, my hand keeps getting away. I do apologize. Like I said, I will eventually get this all figured out. Um, I hand dyed this piece of fabric. Took my sewing machine, went around the edges, but it's still frayed a little bit. But And then dyed it uh, myself. Um... I really liked, there's a touch of orange that come out in it, um, right here. Um, let me back up a little bit so y'all can get the full view of the pattern. Is that not cute? This border, oh my gosh, this border. I was working on border for days. <laughs> days and days, as my girls would say. Um, 
and stuff. I thought I'd never get done with all that black and um, stuff on there and stuff. The only thing I don't, yeah, it's coming through a little bit. I tried to set the dye in the fabric really good. I used for this, I have done Procyon dyes through Dharma Trading Company, um, but this was Ritz dye that you can get like at Walmart or the grocery store. And um, I do apologize for the shaking also. Um, and I set it with vinegar and just rinsed it really, really well. And I'm just one of those stitchers who really likes to wash my projects after stitching. But I do try to keep my hands exceptionally clean. Um, and it wasn't that it bled through or anything. Because like I said, I removed it really well. And, and really there was no discoloration in the water. But most of the time the fabric you work with is 100% cotton. Most of the time 80 is. Now there's some like the opalescence and stuff. They have got like rayon or something in them. But your floss, especially, you know, all your floss for the most part, especially DMC and border floss is 100% cotton. So when you wash them, that's another reason I like it kind of shrinks and tightens everything up. But as you can see, it didn't bleed through up here in the moon. There's just a really dark spot where it's just, you know, it died when I was dyeing the fabric. And because the fabric shrunk up, and the, the embroidery floss, when it was wet and dried, it kind of, you, you can kind of tell it here. Let me back it up. See where the little places, especially in the moon, but not so much in these places down here, I guess, because it's not um, as dark right there. But anyhow, that kind of bothered me a little bit at first, but um, I just thought, well, the moon actually has natural, natural occurring craters. And I thought, well, heck, they kind of look like craters. And I'm good with it. I think this one, if I can become an FFO queen, <laughs> I want to do, um, oh crap, what do you call it? Hush, guys. I want to do it in the, the box. The, I know what it's called. I just can't think of it. Where you put the ribbon, ribbon at the top after you buy a foam core and you turn it in. A cube. There it come to me. A cube. <laughs> a cube. Um, I want to make this one into a cube, I believe. I mean, it is pretty good size. Let me pull the packaging back. Um, it's approximately a 12 inch by 11. So that would be a pretty good size cube. But I just think it'd be cute. And I bought, I found on clearance right to end of Halloween some really cute ribbon. I believe I've got orange and green, and I got purple, I believe. Uh, so I want to try that out. Um, and here is the last one I'm showing you on this video. Please excuse. This was like it when I started this kit. So I must, there was a tiny pinhole in the front of the packaging. And it didn't hurt the contents or nothing, but it was just, you know, a little water spot. I mean, we did move back in 2013. And... Could have happened then, I don't know. But this is another Janlin kit. It's called Hummingbirds. And, um, designed by Laura Dole. And I completed this one. Oh, okay. The Halloween piece I just showed you, that was my January finish for 2016. That's the only one I got finished in 2016. Um, I was hoping to get more done for January, uh, but that border took forever. Th I didn't get nothing done in February because I worked on this one quite a bit. I had, well, let me put, put it over here. I love this. This is my favorite so far. Look at this. Let me back it up a little bit. Is that not gorgeous? Let me bring it in so you can see some of the details. It's a big piece and I'm working on a little round table out here. See? <laughs> um, it has some metallics in the hummingbirds' faces. See them? Let's see. I had this done, this rose done, and this done when I picked this up. This was for the Debbie's Ultimate Jan or Crazy 
something challenge, the JUC. Anyway, it's where every year you start a new project for the month of uh, January. And then some people last year in 2015 done a project every month in February. I just done the January. This year, I thought I was going to join in, but I had, I have so many whips and UFOs that, um, that's true, that, um, I really wanted to concentrate on those. And they said, I mean, it's real easy rules. They said you could work on whips, which technically I have been working on whips, but I didn't start a new start. Um, but this was one of those and I really wanted to get done. So in February, I worked on this and then in March, I want to say about March the 17th, I got this done. And I lost my stitchy bug there for about two weeks. I had a test at the hospital. Um, just several odds and end things um, that just kind of, and I just kind of lost my stitchy bug, let's just say. But I've picked it back up. i got to finish, yes, Saturday and almost another finish, but they're tiny projects. But anyhow, let me zoom back in a little bit. It had very minimal, at least the one good thing, it had very minimal back stitch. I believe I've done the back stitch all in one day. It's just like these flowers here. They are back stitched. Of course, the beaks and the wings. And also this um this metallic is back stitched right around the head on this bird, but not on this bird. Um and I done that when I done the stitching because you only stitch with one strand of the metallic for this piece and why not go ahead and back stitch it but um i did wash and press this as you can see there's still a few little places uh, that my iron didn't get out excuse me um and my big iron is out there in my quilting studio but it's currently being added on to and it's a wreck since we moved in 2013 because I went our house down here is a little bit smaller than what we had in North Carolina where we're originally from um but as you can see I'll without making y'all too sick there's our pool my husband's adding on out there um to my quilting slash crafting studio I've shared this on Instagram. I'm on Instagram at Staying in Stitches, same as I am on here. As you can see, there's our pool. We bought a solar cover for it this year. Um, and as you can see, pollen, it, and then that's nothing. It was worse last week. But the solar cover needs to be. You can hear the chickens next door. But look at my azaleas out there. They're so pretty. Okay, back to cross stitching. Um, but my big iron's out there. And. Uh, and I have a cordless iron, and I just don't think it gets as hot. See some of the wrinkles here? Um, hush. As you can hear, there's chickens in the background, and then there's other dogs. And then the cars going by out front, sometimes if there's a loud one. They love to bark. But um, I'll stop here. And... I plan on recording a video. I'm going to try the vlog thing. I may either upload it weekly or I'm going to definitely leave the dogs inside next time, guys. I do really apologize. I'm sure for some people it gets on their nerves. Nerves. Other people it probably doesn't bother because they have animals or dogs and they're used to it. Um, but that's actually neighbor's dog over there you hear. Um and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead i believe i'm gonna film some of the stash i've got recently um on a whole separate my next video and i was going to add the finish i got on saturday in here i fi finished the cross stitching on saturday um but i had to add three little tiny buttons to it so i've been consider it you know finished on saturday because of the cross stitching but uh, full finish was done it's the little shepherd bush kit i was talking about earlier in the video um look at nani <laughs> anyhow um and i'm gonna add that because that was a finish for this month and i didn't want to kind of put it in with all the end of the 2015 finishes and 
um, where I needed to do a video in February and March where I didn't do a video for that. I'm going to try to get really better about doing videos. I would maybe consider doing one every week or bi-weekly, every two weeks. Or, if nothing else, I'm going to do one at least once a month to try to. I hope I hope y'all enjoy hauls because I love doing and, and, and stash. Um, and then showing, because I, I, I was trying to do a rotation. Um, but here lately, and I used to love to start new projects and, you know, just jump around here and there on what I'm working on. But here in, since this past winter, I tend to pick up a project and work solely on that project. But something big like this, not unless I, unless I really want to push through it. Um, and like the haunted house, I picked it up and just nailed it out. I, I was doing a rotation this past fall. I'd work on this for a week, work on the haunted house for a week. And I, those were the two I was going back and forth on. It's just those two back. And that worked really good and it kept me from getting bored. And a couple times I was like, okay, let's just push through this one, get it, work it through to the end of the week and move on to the next one. Because by the end of that week, I was getting really, really, um, bored. And... I may, it's just easier for me to hold my camera in my very first video, I said in my introduction, I don't like being on camera, and that's honest, I do not like being on camera, but I think it's so much better if you can actually see the person when they're talking, maybe, at least I enjoy watching that, but I just don't like being on camera, I'll be very honest with you guys about that, I just don't like my picture taken, I don't like being on a camera, um, and it's, you know, so, maybe I can change that, because it's easier when you're hearing a person talk, uh, to look at them and see their reactions and emotions, but you're getting to look at a pretty stitch piece. <laughs> um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have any suggestions for me. I'm really open to them because someone on my second video said turn your camera or your tablet long ways, sideways, instead of vertical, up and down. Turn it horizontal. And they said it won't be so closed off, the video won't. So, there's one tip. And I'm already putting it to use. Um, I appreciate, I, I was looking yesterday and I have 118 subscribers. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you guys. Um, you know, I'm, like a lot of YouTubers or floss tubers, they're like, I didn't think I'd get this many subscribers. I just enjoy it also as a chronological order of what I'm working on, what I'm stitching, something to look back on, and for others to enjoy. I mean, if you guys like watching the videos, watch them. Um, and also, like I said, um, you can find me on Instagram, um, if you want to kind of see what I'm working on, because I do tend to post almost daily pictures on there. I just recently started me an Instagram about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I want to say. And it's the same as my YouTube YouTube channel. It's Staying in Stitches. Um, and feel free to follow me on there, and I'll follow back. Um, I'm on a lot, a lot, a lot of Facebook groups. Um, crawl, tons of cross-stitching, tons of quilting. Um, and... All kinds of other crafts. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. I hope you guys have a wonderful stitching day. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.